I'm sitting here between my two Amigas, the 1000 and the 3000, and I have an Atari 800XL with me because today we are taking a look at the A8 Pico card, which is a cartridge for the Atari series, the XL and uh, 800, 400. And um, yeah, it uses a Raspberry Pi Pico, these little cheapo $3 boards to actually give you a functionality that you can load games and stuff onto this. And if you take a look inside this, you can see here's the cartridge connector. And under the cartridge connector, there's actually a USB-C port. And that is the Pi Pico, which just pokes out there. So you just connect this to a PC via USB-C and you can load games onto this and demos and stuff, which is pretty cool. And we will check out if it actually works and how good it actually works. So let's dive in. This video is kindly sponsored by PCBWay. Thank you, PCBWay. So you see this little Panasonic monitor, which I found at the side of the road, and we will get into this monitor in a later episode. Um, I have one of the 800s, which I recently acquired and which does not load from the SIO to SD interface. So there's some fault on the SIO port, but let's check if it works with the A8 Pico card. And this came preloaded with games. I paid $33 or euros and it has two buttons. I have to check what that button is for on the back. The button on the front is the Pico reset button. So how does this work? Um, when you build this yourself, and it's a pretty easy build, you have um, the PCB and you just put the Raspberry Pi Pico on, you have to flash it and to flash it or put on the system software, you have to hold the boot select button on the Pico Pi, plug it into your PC and just upload the script, which is pretty easy. Then you unplug it. And from then on, this will, if you connect it again without holding the boot select button on the Pico Pi, this will just register as a USB device. And you can just use the uh, Windows Explorer or the Mac Finder to put files on. And if you plug this in like this or on the XE, it goes in, in the back. Um, this comes up with a file selector and let me show you. So there's the file selector A8 Pico card by Electrotrains um, and you can just use the cursor keys to move up and down, enter to select or return to select, um, and B to go back if you have been in some directory. So we go into demos. Let's just check out Drunken Chessboard. By the way, the names you see here are just the names of the folders. So if you the folder is called on this USB device is called one dot. Uh, space games, one, the two dot de uh, space demos. So you can configure this any way you like. You can see this directory. We'll just go <coughs> in here and these are the actual file names on the device. So you can configure this just by um, naming stuff, which is kind of nice. Let's uh, start this drunk chessboard and this starts immediately. So if you press reset now on the XL, this happens. The XL goes back into the normal XL mode, the basic mode. And um, that is because what happens if you put this in here, this card the first time, and it gets powered from no power, it selects the menu as the cartridge which it shows. If you select some file there, it puts that into the cartridge memory. And to reset the cartridge to the, the menu, you have to push this button and then the reset button. And then it goes back into the menu screen because now this cartridge thinks that this menu is the stuff on the cartridge. 
and by selecting something else here, there are also um, games on here, and it came preloaded, but you can put on your own stuff. Let's select classic boulder dash. There we are. And it works flawlessly. I'm pretty impressed with this uh, thing because it's it's cheap, it just works. Other than this uh, SIO to SD interface, it's unproblematic in that it is pretty easy to use. You just have to remember to push the cartridge reset button and then the reset button to go back into the menu and that is pretty much all there is. So let's take a look how you can put stuff on here. Man, these noises. So you push reset and the machine crashes, push reset here and you go back to the menu. That is pretty much all you have to remember. And there are um, some cartridges on here, mega card, switchable, XEGS. We have 15 megabytes of storage on this PicoPi here, which is plenty. This is, I would say about half full right now. And if you check games there are well quite a few let's just browse through the games that are on here you can see that's really a lot yeah it might be about 150 to 200 games here yeah so that is uh, the pico card from the using perspective now let's check it from the uploading and uh, putting stuff on it perspective okay x brings you back to the basic prompt so I'm on my PC now. You just grab this USB-C cable and plug it into the USB-C port of the Pi Pico, which sticks out a little. We so we could take a look into the cartridge. We should do that in a minute. The screws are here and here, and we'll just open it up. And then plug this end into this right here. You hear the Windows sound. Explorer, you can see here's the A8 Pico card and here are my games and stuff. And you can see this is a structure we saw in the menu just a minute before and here are all the files. And these are 179 games are on here right now. And if we take a look at the information, we have 10 megabytes full and six are free. So this is plenty because you will not play 500 games at once. We have the demos, some diagnostic programs all neatly in directories, some cartridges, have to check what kind of cartridges these are, and eight tracks, which is some kind of Atari games or file collection, maybe from a magazine or stuff like that. If you know what that is, let me know in the comments, please. Okay, so to put on stuff here, you just go and find yourself some games. You can go to Atari Mania and here are some demos. Let's get the Cat in Space demo and download. And here yeah, I want to keep this. Open the folder, unzip. And then you get a com file, which I don't understand because it should not be a com file. Let's not start that because mm -mm. flying pigs sounds interesting. Let's check that one. And it's also a com file. I don't get it. Why are these com files? Let's check out xlef. Maybe that is better. And it's a com file again. I don't know. Can can Atari computers do com files? I'm not sure. Now let's put it on here in the demos folder. And these demos are all .xex, so I'm not sure if that works. We we'll just put it there. And let's check for another one. Let's 
check out Boogie Nights. Yeah, that is an XEX. Much better. Let's pull this over here to demos. And there are our demos. And let's head back over to the Atari and check if this actually works. But before we do that, let's open up the cartridge. So let me grab a screwdriver. And this is just a paper label which I stuck on here. So, oops, that's now a torn paper label I stuck on here. It sticks better than I thought. And these are not Phillips head screws. Great. So here you can see the sheer complexity of this PCB. It's pretty much the PCB and a PyPico clone. And on the website it states that you should use the PyPico clone because the firmware is specifically made for the PyPico clone. And also the mystery of this button here is revealed. It's the boot select button if you want to refresh the PyPico, you don't have to take it out of the uh, cartridge thingy. And this is a cartridge reset button we pushed before. Yeah, you can print these on PCB Way, which is incidentally today's video sponsor. Thank you, PCB Way. And this is a 3D printed case. Just put it back together and screw it all back in. So I think for 33 euros, this is pretty much the best way you can have your Atari games and stuff on your Atari if you don't have a floppy drive or want to replace the floppy drive with something more reliable. Okay, let's plug it back into the Atari and let's see if we can see our demos. There we are again. Let's go to demos and you can see that the .com file is not shown. So I assume that is some kind of nasty virus. So don't download .com files and especially don't start .com files. Let's check out Booby Nights. Uh, okay, so this seems to be a file for the 128K Ataris, like the 130XE, and this is just a 64K machine. But I also put on the Swan demo, which wasn't on here, so let's check that out. I mean, considered that these machines originated in 1979, this is pretty impressive. I mean, this was three or four years before the C64 came to the market. And even though this XL is a later model, the 800 is pretty much the same machine. Let's check out another demo.
Yeah, I mean, it's pretty nice. Can't argue with this. And don't forget that J Minor, the guy who made the special chips for the Amiga and who is considered the father of the Amiga computer, made some of the chips inside of this machine. Okay, so for 33 bucks, I would totally recommend this A8 Pico card because it is just the easiest way to get stuff onto your Atari without any hustle. You just need the Atari, a power connector for your Atari and a video cable and this card and you're good to go. And maybe a joystick, okay, maybe a joystick. And you can play all your favorite Atari games and uh, check out the demos and stuff like that. So this is awesome. A++++++. So this concludes this video. I will put on a video about this monitor shortly. Um, yeah, until then, cheerio. Thanks again to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. If you need any PCBs, pre-assembled PCBs or 3D printing, please use the link in the description below. In the blink of an eye, we set the stage. Me and my Atari, ready to engage. With every keystroke, we ignite the fire. Unleashing the power, taking us higher. Atari, oh, you're my last machine. Together we rock in perfect harmony. With pixels and chords, we conquer it all. Playing our melody will never fall. In a world of modern tech, you're a unique and cool. We're glowing red, so far so red, Atari tool. Together we create a rocket symphony. Unleashing power and nostalgia, you and me. Atari, oh, you're my last on machine. Together we rock in perfect harmony. With pixels and chords, we conquer it all. Playing our melody will never fall. In the desert world, a legend was born. Atari computer, its legacy adorned. With aims of power, it defied the norm. Revolutionary technology, forever we adore. Atari, oh, you're my last on machine. Together we rock in perfect harmony. With pixels and chords, we conquer it all. Playing our melody will never fall. In the days of old, a legend was born. Atari computer, its legacy adorned. With faith and power, it defied the norm. Revolutionary G, forever we adore. Atari, you're alive within our hearts. This spirit never truly departs. Through the ages, your legacy imparts. Atari, oh, you're my last on machine. Together we run. In the blink of an eye, we set the stage. Thank you for watching Retro is the New Black. If you are new to the channel please like and subscribe. If you like the video, please share. Every like, share and comment helps a lot. Until next time, bye bye.